Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago, and today I'm going to be testing Tomb Raider 1, 2, 3 Remastered on the Steam Deck. So this is a bunch of remasters of Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3, and you can toggle between, them, between the new graphics and the old graphics right away. But there is two things I recommend doing. In properties, if you want to play on a crisper resolution, use this native resolution, you can do 1200p for a better, better image quality on the smaller screen, or if you're using a monitor, the game will just default to 800p, has no options in the menu, and it's verified. So, yeah, perfection. And, and thanks to Aspire for providing a code of the game a day before release. The game releases today, actually, when I'm publishing the video, but I have an entire video covering all the Tomb Raider games on Steam Deck. I highly recommend you check that out. These are the three games <laughs> I had the most trouble setting up, so this is perfect timing. Again, link in the description and the pinned comment. This is a, That's a long video with all the Tomb Raider games. But with that out of the way, let's get right into the game. We're already into the three games, and if you press the, the start key, the pause key, you get the classics. So it's all real time, but when you're in classic mode, you're locked to 30 FPS. It says 60 in the FPS counter, but 60 is only on the newer one. So yeah, we're going to be playing the three of them. There's no options, unfortunately, for graphics. Let's get started with the first one. And we're going to be jumping between the graphics <laughs> every once in a while. So FPS counter on. Remember that when I'm in the in the in the old version, I'm at 30 FPS. So welcome to Tomb Raider 1. As you can see, this is native 800 p solid 6 FPS, as you can probably notice. And if you press start, doinks. Old game at 30 FPS. I'm using the modern controls. You can also use tank controls like in the past if you want to. But it's super cool to be able to jump from one version to the other right away. Although I prefer the newer one. Looks thicker. If you know what I mean. Whoa. But the game is basically the same. We have a shadow there, which is cool, that in the older game was just a capsule shadow vertex thing in the bottom. So why am I saying this is a perfect game for the Steam Deck? Well, when I'm playing a game like this, adventure requires patience, I can take a break and basically do it, play this game and put the Steam Deck to sleep and then come back to it like nothing happened. When I played this on PlayStation 1, well, let's just say my memory card was the one that was on fire. <laughs> so yeah, looks great. But it's clear that they aren't trying to maintain the essence of the original. It's basically one-to-one -one like the original. But it runs at 60 FPS. If you have an OLED Steam Deck, it will actually run at 90 FPS. So the... Um, New graphics run at 90, the old graphics still 30, but the new graphics again 90 FPS on whoa, on the OLED Steam Deck. Because look at this, we're using how much CPU? 12% and GPU not e even using the highest frequency, we're at 200 MHz. We're using like a watt and a half to play this. And well, if you're playing this, not even a watt, I think. So battery life will be great on this one. Okay. I think it's time to jump into the second one very quickly, and I'll be back with you guys. I decided to now go to handheld. And as you can probably notice, let me increase the brightness a little. It's completely fine. Battery life, five and a half hours. <laughs> And the Steam Deck fan is completely silent. Zero RPM. And if I go into the older one, let's see. Yeah, I'm guessing... Okay, the fan ramped up. 
when I swap to the older one for some reason. So yeah, it works great. You have old and new. So I think it's time to jump into the next one, into Tomb Raider 2. Now Tomb Raider 2, we're going directly into the game again. Again, you can swap from the old and the new art with that press of a button. Let me change the controls to modern controls. I don't want to load my game. There we go. Even the FMBs look a little bit better. They are upscaled. And the loading screens are also improved. Here looks very dark in the original. Again, 30 FPS as well. And the new one is 60. It's so weird to see this. It's such a better lighting condition. Sometimes though, the shadows disappear. It's kind of weird. That's a little, a few bugs here and there. Ooh. We got we'll grab our aim. Get the shotgun. Oh, no more shots. No more shots. Whoopsie. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, little bastard. The water looks still pretty good, in my opinion, in the original. Okay, let's keep going. Oof, too, too high. Maybe I can jump directly. No, it's too high. Man, I'm terrible at these. It's been a while. <laughs> Maybe the tank controls provide better accuracy for this. Tomb Raider 3. Let's just go directly into the game. By the way, this includes the expansions too. <laughs> the new monkey looks funny. So this is what it looks like on the new one. Some small artifacts jump up from time to time on first load. This is how the old one looked like, the new one. Gotta make that jump. There we go. Good job. Excellent. My audio is low for some reason. But as you can see, it works just fine, looks great. I don't know what that crystal is for, but I have, as I said at the beginning of the video, an entire video on all the Tomb Raider games on the Steam Deck. So, in my opinion, you should take a look at that one. It has lots of content, explanations on how to make them work. And basically, Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3 were the ones that had the most issues for me to get them running on Steam Deck. I died on purpose, of course. We're going to restart the level, but again, visually, this is ahead of the original, of course. I mean, look at the original, but it runs at 6 FPS locked on the Steam Deck OLED, it will be 90 FPS locked, so no issues whatsoever. And if you want to play the other games in the franchise, they work really great with some adjustments in some cases. I have videos on that.
please take a look. You'll be surprised on how well many of the Tomb Raider games work on the Steam Deck. The only ones, again, with issues were the first ones, 1, 2, and 3, but this is sorted out with this. So that's perfect. And you can also play at 30 FPS on the original graphics if you're interested. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.